Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the R Genius, but you may call me Eric and we left off here drawing um, the map because there was a little corner around this area and, uh, and then it goes like this, it goes around, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna speak about this enemy that popped up right in front of me. We went down to the fifth floor and we got some serious hardware upgrades. Um, Barracus is using a new bow and we came across something called a beast sword. Um, it's called this because this sword is absolutely beast. It, it does 29 damage and gives plus 3 to strength, so it's basically plus 32 damage in general. Whereas the, the short sword only had plus 15, so um, that's 17 additional damage I'm doing over what I did before. That is nice. That is very, very convenient and I am probably going to make good use of it. Hello, little one. Hello. Do I boost? This is just a wolf, though. I will keep the boosts for Fenrir. I will keep the boosts for Fenrir. I do not know who to heal up yet. We did quite a bit of fighting in the last episode. We all we had zero boost when the episode was starting, and now everybody has a filled up boost meter. So that is good. We made some progress there. Oh, oh, the wolf was not happy about this. Boy. Yeah, the level ups are one thing, but the... Uh, oh, the best thing is coming right after this fight. Because Chuckles is gonna have her level up and he she has TP up above level 10. She now has access to TP regeneration, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say it again. TP regeneration. Oh yeah, you know what that means, don't you? Volts all day, every day, every time I can. Um, what kind of you unlock disable? What do I need for the full multi hit? That is more difficult than a multi hit. Bows level ten. Oh, binding its legs for three TP. Hmm. Or three arrows at high levels but this is not multi hit is it, it consumes a lot of TP and what do I have I mean I do have TP up that's that's right I could just do that and TP up yields a lot but um, there's there's a couple I would really like like escaping I haven't had to escape ever since I that that um, Ever since that um, restoration point at Tlaktas showed up, but um, I'm, I still have to be constantly aware of the this being a threat, just running out of the resources. But with Chuckles, as you can see, I can't increase maximum TP anymore. I'm just gonna have to go for TP regeneration. Oh, next, nothing? Probably at five it goes up to two. Yeesh. Yeesh, you're really hard on me here, game. Okay, but um, we picked up TP rege regeneration now, which is a huge improvement over what I had before. And now we can actually use, um, spend a little time on leveling up my vault. Because we want to go into vault level two soon ish. And um, af at the point where we do that, we are going to have to um, have a lot of um, TP ready to be used. And regenerated. And in this direction goes into a corner where there is absolutely zilch. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually walk across those two blank tiles down there. Why would I walk across them? I could just map them in. But if there is an enemy who shows up, I want to be aware of him being there. And I can only be that once I've uncovered um, every single... Uh, once I've stepped on every single tile there is. Those are some serious crits you're putting down. You're, those are some serious crits you're putting out, ladies and gentlemen. 
Hey, Chuckles didn't even get to use Volt. You cannot do this, that poor creature. Holy moly. I do not know what happened to my party. Like, I, this is like a f switch that flipped completely. Beast mode activated, bam. That's what happened. Um, we have this area to explore or we could just loop around the bottom. I think we'll go here because it won't make a great difference. They'll merge together at the, an intersection, I assume. But if that doesn't happen for the next like 10 steps or so, uh, like 15, 20 steps or so, I'm going to um, walk back and, well, deal with it the right way. I should look up what the tier 3 thunder does, the Thor attack. Does that hit all enemies? That's something I wonder about. I mean, it could. Could. But that would be a little too convenient, wouldn't it? Chuckles regenerated TP. Oh, that is real nice. Okay, we look at that. Because it does say what it does. And Thor does sound like something that would go against every enemy. Conjure forth Divine Thunder to attack the enemy. Singular. Conjure forth a Blizzard to attack the enemy. Conjure forth an Inferno to attack the enemy. Single target. That is the most single target thing I have ever read out. Yep, there's a corner there. I noticed. That's absolute crossroads. That was awesome. That was just awesome, Eric. Oh my god, I can't believe you. I want to marry you. You're so good. <clears throat> Let's not get lost in my uh, imagination again. I usually do that. Why didn't I... Is there a corner? Because that is, uh, that is definitely dead end, right? Why didn't I look that way? That's the first time I, I've seen that fight. Huh. This does not look like a good fight. Arbuckle and Keenan are able to take care of one armadillo. I hope. And Barracus will weaken that one while you take care of the Clawfly. <coughs> Clawfly attacks him through the back row, which is not a good thing. The rollers are not a primary problem because they attack into the front row or just defense up, which is also fine. But the, the bug attacking to the back row is not good because my people in the back row do not exactly focus on their defense. They are just offensive powerhouses. And do I use another vault? Why not is the question. Because I don't need to, that's why. No. Because I do not need to. There is zero need for another vault. We can take care of this fight by ourselves, why would I? It's just a waste of resources at this point. And like this I can gain resources. Wait, Chuckles. You had 48 when I, when I left. We have 49 now. No. The TP regeneration might not be as convenient as I first thought. That's not good. That's not good. Sometimes she re regenerates TP. That's good enough, but that does not warrant me the, the, the use of five level ups on the TP up skills. Oh, tough toenails, Mr. McMoose. You did not want to meet me today. I can promise you that you did not want to meet the me. I'm gonna normally attack, yes. Look at it. Chuckles attacks. That's her turn basically over. So it's actually when the turn turns to the two that it... Um, Let's her regenerate. Because like this, it doesn't. 
at the end of every turn. I see. So we have to make it to turn two if we want to recover any TP. There's enemies that we can farm that on. Conveniently enough. Yeah, I do farm a lot. I do farm if it comes to video games. I farm. That's a fork in the road. I wonder where that leads. Don't know if there's a straight passage yet. Another warble. A preemptive attack, so no need to worry my pretty little head about anything here. We're just gonna mash, get fi 15 crits, and then uh, be done with the situation. Yep, on the switch of the turn, Chuckles regenerates 1 TP. That is not as good as I thought. Um, previously I thought every time Chuckles attacks and afterward immediately she regenerates it, but that would be a little too convenient, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Don't give me that noble, um, that, that no business. This is a little clearing, isn't it? This is not a fight I want to have. Um, how do we do this? I don't want to use resources. I'm going to have to take a hit here. I am going to have to take a hit. But not from those... If those mandrakes used Corot, this would be much less convenient. Okay. They didn't. Because the corrosion in conjunction with a rampage probably would do a fair bit of damage. Especially since this Warble as well can attack into the back row and already does 50 damage a pop. So, mister, um, you're gonna have to stop that. I'm gonna have to ask you to put that thing away, that horn of yours. Put it away. Put it away. He could have just murdered Keenan. That was reckless of me. That was absolutely reckless. He was able to murder Keenan right then and there. Not Good. I'll heal up with Arbuckle this time because Eric is almost down to his last sliver of mana. And he does have the Cure 2 skill that Arbuckle does not have access to. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to... That's definitely a wall. That is a way to go. And then up here is a way to go. And then up there is no way to go. I've been fighting Warbulls all day long. Nope, actually all morning long. It's 4.20 a.m. Let me... Um, do I use a crush? I want to use a crush. This guy looks so stupid. I will use one more crush. Just one. Just one more. With Barracus, I could viably just use a boost once. Otherwise, it's just wasted. It's just sitting there idly. Not charging up anymore. Nothing, really. But my calculation is wrong. So not every time I use Volt, I regenerate 1 TP. No, every time I... That's a way, that's a way. So this is a passage like this as well. And that loops around here. Good. That is filled in. Let's go this way. Systematically do this mapping. As, as systematically as I can, at least. We should come across another wolf soon. What am I basing that theory on? Well, I, I mean, I haven't met one in a little while. That's, that's what I'm basing that on. Nice, a dead end. I love seeing those. It's been forever since there was any event on the wall at, at all. In the early, in, in the two first stages, there were fruit hanging everywhere. There were random springs in the wall. There were rucksacks scattered about. There was a boot and, and a fight that was accompanied by it. And here, nothing. Zero. 
Why? I don't like it. I don't. It's just a little lazy. As far as I can tell. Just a little lazy. A little too lazy. This is a fight I can regenerate TP on. Let's look at the bright side. I would like to pick up the TP regeneration skill with Eric as well, but it does not seem that good. TP, having TP in general is good, but also having good skills, like my cure skill that Eric has access to is not that good. It is not that good anymore. Uh, who did you attack? You attacked Barracus. Uh, you better get healed up, Barracus, because you're, you're getting one shot right now, as it stands. That's a no-go. Okay, Arbuckle finished it, and we're going to be able to continue. Snap. Snap. These are worth eight. How much more? Oh, we have barely, we have barely explored anything. That's the first time I came across inventory problems. Like, literal, like, real inventory problems. Not just the ones that I hallucinate and just randomly mention sometimes. But the real inventory problems where you have to throw things away to be able to continue on. Because you don't want to go back yet. Because you still got resources. Well, okay. So, not, the, not only the um, mana and the HP are a little bit of a barrier, but also the the amount of um, inventory space you have. I've been fighting too much, that's a problem. I've been fighting way too much. Let's throw away a couple of hides. The, uh, no, not those, not those. Those are good, those are good, I need those. Gum hides need those as well. Vines haven't sold very many of those. Hardwood, hardwood, I have sold a lot of hardwood. I'll discard like two of those, those are worth 13. Here tails worth 15, D Lily is worth 8. Bug wings are worth 10. No need for those, not right now. Beast bones are worth, I don't know. And soft hides are worth 9, I've got so many of those. Small fangs also 10. But thing is I've sold uh, probably about 40 soft hides so far, so this is okay. And we'll use the uh, stalker. And then the cure, yeah, the, because uh, it, it's better to use it twice in a row. Um, we'll use the cure. That was eight. That is how that is. And we're gonna have to get in combat anyways against a warble. At least that's just one item right there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hopefully I can't take care of that guy in one turn. He's probably gonna get to attack anyway, so I better make, yeah, I better make the best I can out of this. I should th start thinking like that at least, because this is one-shotting it. Ah, we'll, we'll think about grinding TP when it comes to it. We'll think about it when it comes to it. Who got attacked? Keenan got attacked. I can't have you s sitting at that amount of HP. I, I do want to heal my people up because there is a level, a, an alpha wolf running about somewhere here. As far as we know. As far as we know. And um, I would rather not run into that guy while not expecting him. That looks like a clearing. That is a gather point. Gather point is gonna have to wait because um, I'm gonna clear out a little more and inventory space is not looking good right now. Hello wall, you probably have something special, don't you? Something absolute no? Not something absolutely amazing? Clearing. Do 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 doom. 
What are you? Gathering point for chopping. Oh, man. Oh, man. We don't know what this yields. This could be new. The f f only chopping point I have ever come across is on level 1, and this is level 5. I want to. I have 8 usages, and I would have to go back afterwards. This is not good. The... the, the, the <laughs> The, the the feeling of having to of, of just having to continue exploring that is not good all right moose you might have mentioned you might have noticed I do enjoy the word moose a lot a lot more than I should um, partly because I watched supernatural and one uh, one guy calls the other guy moose from time to time and I really like the tone of his accent and his voice and how he pronounces that word it's funny and yes I'm speaking about Crowley of course I am if you know that show you might not but um, it does have like the how 12 seasons by now uh, it's something it has a large amount of content to offer probably even more than my channel and that that says that's saying something okay I've got like I've got a million videos on my channel by now. I've got a thousand and seven hundred something just uploaded. That those are the ones that are uploaded. I have a ton more not uploaded. Like this right now. Oh well. And there is so much about Supernatural. I watched that show back then. I haven't been able to keep track or to keep up because there is too much. Okay, single warble is fine. What is my, um, what is my inventory looking like is what I wanted to say there until I got stuck in my own train of thought. What is my inventory looking like? And we're going to check right now. But if I leave, I, I should probably do it now because in in um, a little bit I'm going to have to finish up and go to work. And today's a busy day. Not only because I am recording in the morning. This is a very, very far stretch here. This looks suspicious. That's the entire loop? Where is this going? That is a very, very long way. Uh, I would like to escape from this fight, honestly. I will. I will just escape from it. Why would we fight? Unable. Unable? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that was not a good... That was not a good try of drawing that. Jeez, that's a huge loop. And that's a door. Yeah, we know what's behind that door, don't we? We're not gonna open that door right now. We are definitely not opening that door. That... Ladies and gentlemen, is what I expect to be the boss. Because it's got a door and everything. I mean, what boss doesn't have a door? Every boss who's cool has a door. The, every boss who's cool might not have two doors, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is a little off about my theory. Oh, snap. Bar Bar Barricus does not do more damage than Arbuckle. That that calculation was a little off. Oh, I hope I can buy a beast sword in town. That would be mighty convenient. So this is how long it took us uh, f took for us to regenerate 4 TP. That's how long it took. So the last 10 minutes regenerated one volt. 
In general, you can farm that, and in long fights, it's probably very convenient. But um, in over the course of just exploring, it does not do that much if you're if you've got a potent co a party and you always want to have a potent party. We don't have stalker. Do I even have warp wire? Yeah. Oh. That would have been something else. Uh, and we'll use the heels. And we'll continue our exploration. Because this is this is looking like a, a place I want a map. Uh, that has that. And that's going to be like this. That's a wall. What do you mean a dead end? Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for what this map looks like once I scroll out again because I've been doing, I've been putting in a lot of work here. Uh, a very, that's a very sophisticated boss with three doors. Um, yeah, my theory might be a little off there. My, my theory just might be a little off. Um, I, I think I can use crushes and true shots by now we are almost out we're almost out of inventory and I don't want to throw away much more and um, we're gonna have to work with what we have we're gonna warp out anyways in a second so I would like to go back and chop I would so that's a level up for Eric Yes, Eric. Okay, what do I pick? Uh, TP up is at level 5, which is really good. Healers at level 5. Patch up is nice. Heal rate. That's not that good. Scavenge would be very much appreciated. I could pick up the cure 3. Heals to full. Restores full HP. Then what gets better if I level it up? But 20 is a little much. Revive, bring the dead back to life. Healer level 7, cure level th cure 3, level 3. Salve would be good. I will level up cure a bit. Because a cure is what I use the most. And to be able to get salve. Salve should be a good skill as well. Immunize, resistance to all elements. Healer level 3, self level 3. Yeah, that's important. That's stu stupid. Regeneration is, is something I don't know how to use. Chopping. I want revive and I want self. I want to work towards those. But those both require a large amount of TP. Okay, I will not want to use self every turn. But um, we don't know how good self is yet. It might just be much better than cure in general. So we we th th this kind of balancing has happened in the in the past that um, the AOE healing skills were completely unbalanced, and I would very much appreciate to see that here, even though it doesn't make any sense. But um, it's very convenient nonetheless. Okay, let's look at this map. That is what we have come across so far. So there's only that one intersection back there. And apart from that, there is this huge blank space in the middle of this map. I do not want to go back here. I don't. This is such a long way to go, but we've got 54 items again. I'm going to go back to the place where we, where, where we can chop and then I'll teleport out. Because I'm going to chop right now. Oh, you know I am. You know I'm gonna chop. I'm gonna chop, chop, chop to hold back. I know it's been 30 minutes though, but um, we'll we'll chop and then I'll end and then we'll teleport. Uh, do I want to fight this? No, I don't. I that was no. Oh, I want to fight. I want to fight this so bad. That was dumb. Let's crush that man, Drake. Get a little bit of this true shotting going, and you can take care of that thing, can't you? I want to fight so bad. So bad. 100 damage with a normal attack, huh? Well, then again, Arbuckle doesn't have any special attacks apart from healing. Which is not something I would ever consider a special attack. But, you know. 
Stalker would be appreciated, you know. Yep, I already ran out. Just a couple less warbles. Just a, a few less. There are so many here. This is not a fight I have to greatly worry about anymore. It used to be one of those in the past. But, oh, really? Now, of course, they have 55 HP. It used to be one of those really scary enemies here, this fervor of being able to one-shot any of my characters at will. But now it's not anymore. It's not that big a deal. So I'm sorry that we didn't actually come across any Fenrir in this episode, but we know where he's living. We know his number as well. Let me get in on that business. Nope, thank you. Had enough of you today. So many warbles. Too many warbles. I mean, by now it's the middle of the night. Yep, that is a gathering point. Let's look at my inventory. I need like seven spaces. I have five. Soft hide. Uh, yeah, we, we know the situation. Small fang. And another soft hide. That is eight spaces just in case. And we'll be chopping for hardwood. No, don't do it. Don't do it, game. Red fruit. No, 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 no. We don't want... We want something new here. Something better than hardwood and... No. There's a large amount of, de of red fruit here. So it's definitely different from what I expected, but it, that doesn't make it good. Okay? That doesn't make it good. Let's teleport back. We use the warp wire. And for the moment, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.